Hi! This is a review of A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I bought this one because it was recommended by Sable Cot. But what really made me buy it is that I went to a bookstore and saw a physical hardback copy and it was just beautiful. The cover on the outside is grey with a shiny title and then you open it up and it has this blue pattern and the actual cover of the book looks like this so everything about it is just gorgeous. I'm not 100% sure what age this book is meant for but I would probably put it somewhere between young adult and a children's novel. The best way to describe the plot is probably to read what's inside because it's phrased very nicely. The monster showed up after midnight, as they do, but it isn't the monster Connor's been expecting. He's been expecting the one from his nightmare, the nightmare he's had nearly every night since his mother started her treatments. The one with the darkness and the wind and the screaming. This monster, though, is something different. Something ancient, something wild. And it wants the most dangerous thing of all from Connor. It wants the truth. Connor is a young boy and his mom is ill and he's just having a really difficult time dealing with it. The book was inspired by an idea from Shioban Dowd? I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but basically Patrick Ness took the storyline that she already had and ran with it and what he wanted to make was something that she would have liked. What I liked most about the story is that it had some stories inside of it that are told by the monster and they're kind of in the style of Beetle the Bard, although they're not quite as good as the stories in Beetle. This would make a really good book to read to someone or to give as a present. And the other thing that makes this book amazing are the beautiful illustrations. I don't think I would have liked the book as much if it didn't have all of these illustrations that kind of bring it to life. The whole vibe of the book kind of reminded me of the graphic novel Three Shadows by Cyril Pedrosa and of Speak by Laurie House Anderson. So if you like those books then A Monster Calls might be a good read for you. In the comments you can let me know if you've read this book and what you thought of it. And some other important news, I now have a second channel which is called Interred and Tree and I just posted my first video there so I'll put the link in the description and you can check it out. Also if you were following me on Tumblr before there's kind of a different situation now. I have a book Tumblr which you can find at booksandquills.tumblr.com where I post all of my book reviews and some book photography and just some other pictures of books that I found. And then I still have my personal Tumblr with gifts of Jennifer Lawrence at interredandtree.tumblr.com so if you were following Books and Quills on Tumblr that is now in turret entry so you'll need to refollow books and quills. If that confused you, I'll put everything in the description and you can check it out there. I will talk to you guys later. Doei!